Hello everyone. Let's speak today once again about burning within Meerkat and let's use a slightly more sophisticated example to look at the different opportunities that Meerkat is giving you to actually influence which areas to burn and which not to burn. So let's have, have a, a rather simple example over here. Let's assume you have a couple of coasters you want to engrave with this cute little Meerkat over here. The coasters are eight centimeters in diameter, and you just want to make sure that these coasters are properly, you have multiple of those and you want to burn them and to have a, a rather simple exercise how to do that. So you have your template or your, your blank coasters available. And one of the easiest thing to do is that if you don't have a camera available or anything else, to just do one of the following things. Let's have a quick look. So first of all, let's draw a circle with a eight centimeter in diameter. Um, you see over here, I just used a circle tool and I'm drawing a circle. And if you do look to the left bottom corner, I just stop that and show you a little bit what I'm meaning here. Let's remove this once again. If you look over here to this area, you do see you have normally your status bar with some messages. Have a look at it when I draw that circle. You will see, okay, it gives an indicator. Here is C equals to 40 millimeters, 50 millimeters, which is actually the, the center of my circle that I'm about to draw. And it gives you an idea of the diameter, in this case, the radius. And I wanted to have a eight millimeter, 80 millimeter diameter circle. So I just over that until I have 40 millimeters in diameter. That's over there. I put it slightly away from the corner just to avoid an, an unwanted crash of my laser into the rails. And now I have um, a wonderful circle, eight centimeters in diameter. And you do see Meerkat has actually drawn this as well in blue. It's engraved. And here you have the Meerkat over there. Let's go back to selection. Move it over there. You can actually place it here manually. Or you can do another thing. If you just mark those two different elements over here, click on Modify, click on Center, X, click on Center Y, then you have it perfectly aligned on your template. OK. Nevertheless, we want to make sure this surrounding circle is not something that we want to burn, but it's good for us to help us to place the coast to template. So what we are going to do is over here, just again to remind ourselves, we have painted those two different um, shapes, the circle and the meerkat in blue. So they end up both in an, an engrave operation. Now I'm doing something, I'm just changing the color here of the outer circle too. Let's assume, let me just take it to green. And you do see a new operation has been generated. It's a green one, um, admittedly not extremely easy to see. So let's maybe use something more simple here, which is easier to see. Okay, purple might be better to see on the screen. And you have now two different operations, one with the blue one with our meerkat and the purple one with the circle. So what we want to do right now is we want to first take away um, our coaster template and just put a, a sheet of paper or card or whatever on our laser bed. And we are going to draw this circle around with the laser, not yet the other one, the meerkat, um, because then we know that we do have exactly the right position for our coasters to place it. Remind ourselves, the coasters have eight centimeters diameter. Our circle over here is also eight centimeters diameter, so a perfect template to place the coasters on. Well, actually, you could do just burn that stuff here on um, the sheet of paper with the meerkat on it, which would still serve you the same purpose. It would give you kind of a guide how and where to place the coaster, but let's very intentionally make it slightly more sophisticated. Because the picture that we have over here might actually take quite a lot of time to, to laser on the bed, on the material that we want to have. So going back to the properties of our operation over here. If I double click on it, once again, the properties windows for that operation is going to appear. 
you do remember from our first video all the different things that you had. And now let's have a look at enable. Enable actually states whether all the elements contained in this operation are going to be burned or not. In this case, we want this to be burned. But this one over here, the meerkat, we don't want to be burned. Let's have a quick look at our simulation to see whether this is really achieving what we want to achieve. And yes, hooray, it's just burning the circle. So you would now send it to the laser bat, and you have on, on the sheet of paper a very faint, uh, maybe faint is not the right term over here because it's actually rather still rather strong. So power maybe only 500 or use it at a very high speed, whatever it is, it can do both. And then we have a very faint impression or very faint um, image of our circle on our sheet of paper, which is good enough to help us to place the template. So after we've done this, so I'm just executing the job over here. It's going to be burnt. You do see here the information that it's, it's doing that. And you see it's a rather slow. It's doing that around over here. In the meantime, because Nick is doing that in the background, we can already prepare our next job. We go back to engrave. We still have that one open over here. I'm closing it because I wanted to show you how to achieve the very same effect as well. If you click on the right mouse button on the engrave entry over here in the tree, there is one point which I mean states enable disable operations, and which is doing exactly the same. And by the way, you do see whenever you're doing this, this information here is changing to disabled, so nothing is going to be to be burned. But now we need to enable this one again. So the next thing, the burn has been completed. The next thing, what we are going to simulate right now is, let's see what's happening right now. Oop. Do it again. OK. Still had the old thing in the cache. You do see that now only the meerkat is going to be burned. The surrounding circle is no longer there, which is exactly what we wanted to achieve. So if you burn it right now, and before that, you should actually place your coaster on, on the outline of the circle that you have on your sheet of paper. It will be perfectly printed, engraved on top of your blank coaster template. Hopefully that helped a bit to explain one of the more elaborate things that you can do with operations with enabling and disabling them. And we're going to come back to operations quite a lot of times because this is, a, as we all know, a laser program should actually do exactly that. It helps you needs to burn, help you to burn things on your laser. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.